Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's low impact but high intensity HIIT dumbbell workout. We're going to burn fat and tone lean muscle. Lean muscle increases your metabolism over time, so that's a good thing. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's get you warmed up. I want you to swing the arms, move the legs, bring those knees way up if you can. Grab some water. You will need it. You need your heart rate burning fat. I got the sun coming up, so I've got the sun in my eyes a little bit. I hope it's not too distracting. <laughs> Feels kind of nice after a long winter. Heels up. And we'll kick out to the front, reach out, stretching the back of the leg. My family, which means my husband and my dog Jake, you know Jake, he have been around a while. He tends to make some cameos. They're still sleeping, so I wanted to get this filmed for you. All things are nice and quiet around here. Out and in. And that means the sun coming through the windows that are up here in the ceiling. And arms up and down. So a fun format for you, it's popular, forward and back, I'm going to list right up here the exercises that we're going to do, here they come, right there, and we're going to start with 20 seconds each. So I'm going to grab one weight, grab your weight or your water bottle, hold it right here, pushing it up, toe out, so it's tap, tap, just like this, and add a little bounce if you like, you don't have to, and we will do a lot of reps. So. Pace yourself. 20 seconds. Here is kind of getting used to the moves, getting those joints and muscles really warm. And then we'll go second round. We do all of these. We'll do 30 seconds. Then we'll go to 40 and then back down. 30, 20. Ready? Push the weight out. Same feet. Out. 20 seconds each. Eight exercises. Then 30 seconds each. Then 40. There's your endurance right there. And then the 30 and the 20 as we finish won't seem so bad. Good. Okay, hold the weight in your right hand. You're going to step out to your left to the side lunge as you come up. And curl this weight up. And we've got a kick. Okay, here we go. If the bending is too much on the knee. Right here, you're not going to bend. You're just going to step over and kick. If you can get down here. I want you to do it because it's going to add that muscle work, but only if the knees are comfortable with it. I don't want you to do anything ever that causes pain, okay? Go to the other side. You hear that saying, no pain, no gain? When you have pain, that's your body telling you that something's not right. Or why not? So do not work through pain. You want to protect your joints, and if you're being told, by your brain that you're causing pain, it also means you're causing some injury likely, okay? So we don't want to do that. Good. Okay, holding the weight on either end. I'm going to bring the heels up and back like we did in warm-up. Hamstring curls, weight up and down. Ready? Here we go, right leg first. Bring it up. Up my second weight. We're going to punch and kick. So alternate arm to leg. So we'll punch with your right first, just like that. Ready? Here we go. Punch. Other side. Now when I punch, I put my palm down. You can do whatever feels good to you. I feel like I get a little bit more shoulder work there. I'm going to rotate my wrist. Do what feels comfortable. The whole goal of this workout is to keep you moving. With some resistance, which makes it a little harder which means your heart has to work a little bit more, more than it would if you weren't using weights. All right, lifting, tap. Lifting with tap, here we go, lift. 
on this, make sure your shoulders are down. You're not bringing the shoulder up like that, all right? You know, you just sort of focus on that. Let it be in the triceps here, the back of the arms. The shoulders want to help. Don't let them make that tricep work. And rest, okay. Soccer kick. And hold this weight. Kicking across. Get ready. Right leg first. I use a little chop motion with my hands. Chop, chop. Whatever feels good. As long as you're moving. When I say, as long as you're moving, I'm smiling. I like this because nice little stretch in the hip there. And the glute muscle. Good. All right, you've learned all the moves from the top. Pushing that weight up, tapping the toes out. You could call this a low jumping jack. Take out the jump, right? Here we go. Tap. Now this is 30 seconds. A little longer. Pace yourself. I want you to do as long as you can in this 30 second range. If you do need a rest a little early, take an extra 5 10 seconds. Especially if you're just starting out. A little more rest, but then jump back into it. You're going to get that hit effect just like we are. And rest. Good. See how that felt a lot longer? 10 seconds, a lot longer. All right, pushing the weight out. Deep breath. Ready? Here we go. Tap it out. Are you feeling that? Yeah, feeling it. You want a five pound weight here. You can use two, three, five, water bottle, soup can, whatever you're using. You're gonna feel that resistance. And rest. Okay, stepping out, side lunge, curl it up, press with the alternating leg kicking. Ready? Going three, two, one. Out, and up, and kick. Good. Out tight. You are working them right here. Hold them. And kick. I like this one. Good. Okay. Let's go to the other side. Keep yelling. Feel that heart rate? Oh, yeah. Ready? Step it out. Here we go. So where should your heart, be? heart rate be? And how should you find out what your heart rate is if you don't have a watch? You can just find a pulse in your wrist. Use your two forefingers, don't use your thumb. Because you have a pulse in your thumb. And find the beat, and then watch a clock. Count how many beats in 10 seconds. And just multiply that by six. And you know what your heart rate is at any given time. Good, okay. Hamstring curls. So then, as we get the beep here, so you how to figure out your range. Curl it up, hamstring and back. So, take the number 220. Subtract your age. That's going to give you a starting number. So, of course, depending on your age, that number is different, right? Take that number and multiply it by 0.65 and 0.85. That gives you a range, low number to high number. Between those two numbers, that's where you're burning fat. Your heart rate is in that range. Good. All right. Ooh, picking up my other weight. Throw those tricep lifts to the back, okay? Deep breath in. Let's see how here we go. Lift. You know what I did? I got the punches, didn't I? We're going to do those next. It's not unusual in this type of workout. Change the order. So anyway, you take what your heart rate is and compare it to that chart, right, between 65 and 85%. And the lower half of that range is really your primo heart burning range. If you're in that range, low end, you're burning most of your calories from fat. Once you get up in the high end, it's hard to breathe. Your body's relying on some other, other systems other than oxygen quite often. Punch it out. 
or energy. So, go half of that range is your ideal heart rate range. Soccer kicks, climb it up this ladder. Let's go right leg first, chop over it with your weight. Here we go. Time our ladder. So, up next, we have our endurance training 40 seconds each, a 10 second rest. Take a longer rest if you need it. If you're just starting out, watch the clock. Maybe stop 10 seconds early, just increase your rest time. And come back at it next round, okay? He is to get through this 30 minute workout. And rest. And if that means taking longer rest, that's perfectly fine. Push the weight up, toes out. Deep breath. Here we go. And watch your pace here. 40 seconds. You don't want to start out too fast and fizzle out. You want this endurance want to do this for an extended period of time. Heart rate up for an extended period. And it comes back down a little bit. A 10 second break. And then do it again. And rest. Ooh, right? Long time, but we only do this round once. Pushing that weight out. I went a little fast last time. I'm gonna slow my pace down a little bit. Here we go. Push, push. As this move seems easier, right? It's not going over your head. But 20 seconds in, we start to feel it, right? Breathing. Deep rest. Okay. Uh, endurance is hard. Back to the side lunges. To the overhead press. Get ready. Stepping out to your left. Right. Yes. There we go. Over. Bring it up. And kick. Good. Glistening a little bit. So we glisten around here. We don't sweat. We glisten. I am glistening. I hope you are too, because that's the goal. And I'm gonna finish this one because I started it. There we go. On the other side. Push your breath. Deep breath. Keep breathing. Super important, keep that oxygen going. Here we go. How are you doing? You know you're halfway through here. When we go to these 30 second and 20 second round at the end here, it's gonna seem short. One, I'm finishing. And kick. Okay. Hamstring okay. curls in the back. One weight. Keep those elbows in. Deep breath. Here we go. We are at the peak of this workout right now. Coming back down the other side. The mountain or the ladder. Look we'll at it. So 
Stay with me. Come on, if you can. You need that longer break. Take it right now. Good. All right. Getting the order right this time. Grab another weight. Punch and kick. I'll punch with your right side first. You're looking at me mirror-wise. Here we go. That's tight. Make it more. Seconds. Stay with me. Come on again. Rest if you need to. Endurance cardio right there. Whew. All right. Tricep kickbacks. One at a time. Work the back of the arm. Make it work. Right arm first. Here we go. Lift. Lift. Oops. Try not to hit yourself with your weight. Keep it out far enough. Feel the back of the arm here. Feel it as you straighten the arm and lift. And the shoulder stays relaxed. Make that tricep to work. A lot of rest. That's what I call a transition. Okay. Head it back down. 30 seconds. It's not seem short. It really is. Remember when 30 seconds seem long after the 20 seconds? Tap it up. Here we go. Now they're going to seem short because they're following a 40 second round, which is super challenging. Let's 
hamstring curls are next. Good. All right, holding the weight on either end. Heels up and back. Elbows in. Deep breath. Here we go. Come on, stay strong. Take these 30 seconds and we're almost done. more advanced. I'm going to challenge you. I want you to hit this hard, okay? 20 second rounds. Otherwise, stay with me, all right? We're finishing strong, but if you are more advanced, here's where I want you to be. I want you working at your max because when you're just beginning, this is max right here, and you're going to build up to that fast pace, but if you're more advanced, I want you to give me that fast pace, okay, for this last round. Cardio blast it. Okay, pushing the weight out, tapping it out, deep breath. Here we go. Alright, so can you have the second weight? Oh, water bottle, or a can of soup. 
Punch and kick. We'll punch with your right arm first. Deep breath. Here we go. Working hard. Are you working hard? You should be working hard. <laughs> wow. All right. Tricep lifts in the back. I really like this kind of workout. I used to think you had to jump around, right? You don't. And this is safer, much safer. I jumped around from my 40s and early 50s. I realize now, late 50s, that's probably not the best idea. So that's why. I want to bring this to you, this channel, with ways to exercise 40 and beyond. Yeah, be safe. Soccer kicks. Here we go. This is it. Come on. Stay with it. You are almost done. Good stretch, and you're on your way. Five seconds. Ready for it? Three beats. Indicate we're done with the hard part. Grab a sip of water. Try and take some time and do a good stretch. Okay, I want you to step out back with one leg. Bring up the toe of the other. Lean back in this. Weight is in your standing heel. Keep your hips square to the floor so you're not lifted like that. Okay, you're going to get this in the back of the leg. Step out with this front foot, go wider with the back foot, bend the back knee into the front knee. Drive the hip forward. A little bend here, more here, shoulders up, hips square. Feel that stretch in the front of the hip. Deep breaths. I want you to get your heart rate down into a nice safe zone. Other side, other foot, step back, square your hips, knee back, feel the back of the leg. When I say a safe zone, we want to get down into like a normal heartbeat before we do anything where our head is going below our heart. I kept you, I should clarify, I kept you in a safe zone the whole time. But I don't want you putting your head down right now. You need that heart rate to come down. Stepping out with this front foot, a little bend in the back, deeper bend in the front. Get forward, feel the stretch right there. Bring it on up, we'll bring one arm across, do the upper body, and then we'll get into that inner thigh. Deep breath. How are you feeling? I hope you feel like I'm awesome. I did it. Which you did, right? You're here with me. Rest it along the way, that's okay. Step yourself in the back. I get apologies for new clients. They had to rest. It's okay. You know, that's what you're building from. You are lapping everybody on the couch right now. On the other side, the key is just keep going in the workout. Take the rest when you need it. And then jump back in. Lift. Around the shoulders back here. Feel this across the chest, in front of the shoulders. Heart rate should be pretty normal right now. You want to lean sideways. You should lean over, hinge, feel that stretch in your thigh. Up, and the other way. Up both legs. Hinging forward, a little bend in this knee. Don't walk the knee. Hands on, on the legs, lower if you can. More advanced, more flexible. Come down to your mat, hang your head, and wrap your elbows if you can. It just adds a little bit of extra pull on the lower body. And then slowly come on up. 
So the feet in a little bit. I want you to have a nice flat back here, and then you're going to round it, pull the hips towards the chin, and flatten, and round it, and flatten. Roll all the way up. Big shoulder rolls at the top. You did it. If you like this workout, and you'd like to do it again, you're going to hit the thumbs up under the, under the video, okay? That's what I put it in your library. Deep breath in. So then when you open YouTube, you just go to your library and you can find the videos you like and do them again. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. You have a wonderful day.